so my flash fish is charging off of my jackery. My jackery is putting out 36 watts and it's already went down 2% since I've started charging it. And this one has not gone up any. It just keeps flashing that it's charging, but it hasn't gone up any. Should I use all of my jackery to charge a flash fish that won't charge anything? I don't think so. Stay tuned and see how this pans out. <laughs> this is funny. You get a backup power to charge stuff, and then you get another backup power to charge your backup power. What? Hey, good morning, everybody. So I bought this flash fish power generator. And you can charge it from uh, your wall outlet at home. You can charge it from your cigarette lighter in your car or whatever. But anyway, the kids have been using it to charge their cell phones and stuff with. And it's, it got to where you plug a cell phone in it, and within an hour or so, it would be it would drain it down. That's one cell phone. So uh, the other issue is charging it with the charger this charger that's supplied with it it takes days almost a week maybe even more than a week to get it to charge up so i sent the manufacturer a, a notice and i've had this i bought it on may the 28th and now it's july the 28th and it's not working right so i sent the manufacturer a email and asked them about it because you know one cell phone will draw it down in about an hour and it takes days and days to charge it back up so they asked me to take a picture of it charging on the house charger which there it is and it's charging it's been on there for approximately 20 hours 15 20 hours and it's charged two bars they recommended that I try charging it with the cigarette lighter, 12 volt cigarette lighter. I'm going to try that and make a video of it and see if it charges any faster. I'm not going to leave my van or car sitting out there running for a couple of days to charge this. So it's just going to be a test and to take a picture to send to them. Now I'm going to go from here and go to the van and plug it in. You can see how it's charging. And let's see if it does any better with the 12 volts from the car. Well, I hope you can see this okay. I got my charger right here for the van and I've got the charger, the cigarette type lighter charger that came with the flash fish and I've never used it so I'm gonna undo it and I'm gonna plug it into here and I'm gonna plug it into the flash fish and now I'm going to get the camera over here a little bit better on the flash fish see how it charges so now you can see it's charging from the 12 volts from the cigarette lighter charger I'm gonna let this run a little bit and see how long it's see I'm a, I mean I'm gonna give it a few minutes I can't leave it charging all day long one thing I did want to mention to you if you don't have one get you some of these ammo boxes they're at Harbor Freight or you can order them on Amazon but it's a great place to keep all your all your cables and stuff and that way you don't misplace anything just keep everything in one place all the all the stuff that I show in this video there will be links in the description under the video if you guys are interested in any of them so let's let this charge for a few minutes and see what happens see if it goes up a bar according to them it should charge faster Let's just let it charge for a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna let the camera run. If the battery goes dead in the camera, I'll put a new battery in. Well, I think I got a little overexcited when I first plugged into the cigarette lighter charger because it evidently must have been almost ready to go to the next bar. 
and as soon as I plugged it in it went to the next bar if that makes sense but charging it to the next bar up it's taken it a long time and I don't have the money to spend on gasoline for my van to let it sit here overnight to charge my flash fish battery power station so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this but I did send them an email they did respond in the same day and asked me to do this test and I'm doing it and it's not really charging any faster with the 12 volts than it is with 110 volts in the house and if you plug a cell phone into any of these it draws it down in about an hour it just drains it so the concept's good I really like it I uh, must be something wrong with the batteries in it I guess I don't know okay there's one other thing I'm gonna try I'm gonna try plugging it in to plug in my flash fish into my jackery and see if my jackery will charge it any faster so let's go try that ha 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 well the sun's getting up and I'm trying to charge this with my van so it's taking a long time to do it so now I've tried the 110 volts in the house I've tried the 12 volts in the van so now I'm gonna go try and I'm gonna plug it into my jackery and see if my jackery will charge it any faster than the 12 volts and the 110 volts so let's go in the house and hook all that up and see how it works. I really like this thing. I wish it would work. Now I have my flash fish that I can't seem to get charged. And I've got my jackery here. What I'm going to try to do is charge the flash fish off the jackery. Because everything else I've tried to charge that with will not charge it. It just takes forever. It takes days and days. So I'm going to see how this works. So stand by while I hook that all up and we'll turn it on. So now we're back in the house. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the same charger that we had in the van. We're going to plug it into the flash fish right there. Just like that. And then we're going to plug the 12 volt into the 12 volt out on the jackery. And then we're going to turn it on. And as you can see now, it's charging. So now let's see how long that takes. See if that does any better. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know if you can see that point or not. But see, it's it's just don't seem to be making much progress. And the jackery is going down. I just don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. I've been messing around with this for two days now, trying to get this thing charged back up. Uh, the flash fish, not the jackery. So I don't know, flash fish. Are you ready to be filleted? So here I am waiting on the old flash fish to charge this is day two and i just don't know even when it gets to the last bar it seems like it never ever charges that last bar so is it time to fillet the flash fish power station because if you can't if it takes <laughs> If it takes two or three days or a week to charge it just to keep one cell phone charged, I don't know that it was worth the money that I spent on it. So anyway, if any of you guys have any suggestions, let me know what you think. What did I do wrong? Because I know I did something wrong. The Jackery works great. I got the flash fish first and found out real quick that I needed more power. So I got the Jackery. Which, no, my next one, I'll get a bigger one. I don't know if it'll be a jackery or what it'll be. But on my next one, it'll be a bigger power station. Because as you buy these, you find out that you need more 
power, but the flash fish is what I'm talking about today, and the flash fish should last long enough to charge one cell phone and not die within an hour after you plug the cell phone into it. And it should charge faster than uh, taking days and days to charge. And I've tried all methods of charging it with the parts that come with it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to go fillet this flash fish. <laughs>